Okay, us four guys are going fishing. What do you say, Wyatt? Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Wyatt's pretty excited. We're gonna do some creek fishing. We're up here in the Cabinet Mountains. Well, not in the, in the cabinet, it's just on the outskirts here. And we're, we're going to a creek. We, we can't tell you what creek it is because it's highly secret. So, but we're gonna go and we're gonna catch some, some uh, creek fish, some trout. So we're pretty excited. So here we go. The scenery is gonna be beautiful. You're gonna love it. That little guy is excited, I'm telling you. We're just gonna go down here and get go through these pools. It'll be awesome. I think I'll go this way. These trout aren't big, but they're a lot of fun to catch. When I was about nine years old, I went for the first time trout fishing in a little stream and I just fell in love with it. Something special about doing this in Montana, in the clear mountain stream. Wow, isn't that pretty? This is one of dozens of little holes we're gonna find. There's some trout sitting right in that white water down there, I guarantee it. You coming, Wyatt? It's a little, a little tough for short legs. Isn't that a precious sight? That is best. Let me see it, Justin. Hold it out. Nice. Beautiful. It's awesome. All right, got one. Is that a rainbow trout, Dad? Let's see what he got. Another cut bow. Ah, that's so awesome that I'm rainbow trout. I think that's the kind that's in here, buddy. Look at that. Let me see him. Nice. Pick Whoa. him up by his mouth. Happy new guy sees mold yet. Ethan's caught himself a few, and Justin now as well. Wyatt and I just have one. Oh, he said he had one. Beautiful little holes right here. They're not much the right hole out for size, but they're sure are fun to catch. Another one. The mouths are, are about as tiny as a pinhead, so it's hard to catch them. Oh! No. Not, don't pull so hard, Ethan. Just gently. There he's got one. Nice. Uh oh grab it, it's going. Got it. Uh oh. Grab it, grab it. Oh. Down the hole somewhere. Ah. You got it. That's a decent sized one. Is that a brook trout? Oh yeah, look how beautiful that thing is. 
Oh, just look at that thing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, Wyatt's well, gonna catch a fish all by himself. He just caught one a minute ago. Pretty hard navigating all these twigs and everything. Just pull a little brook trout out of there, see if you can get another one. A nice deep hole right down there. ideal fishing place for a seven-year-old but it's good memories a little bite just now oh there he goes there he goes all right tiny little one but it's a fish there he goes about a four-incher minnow but it's a fish. Hey, Wyatt's slinging him out of that hole. He's having so much fun now. Uh-oh, it's tangled up on the front, buddy. Gotta go untangle his line. Well, Wyatt and I are hiking back out. Was it fun, buddy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a blast. Wyatt did a good job there. He uh, snagged a couple fish all by himself, and it's hard work climbing up all over those rocks and everything. But we're hiking back to the car now. We went up probably about a half a mile. Hiking back to the car and then we're going to uh, drive up there and see if we can find Justin and Ethan. They're up there somewhere. I'm not sure where, fishing somewhere. Okay, how many did you get, Ethan? Four. And wow, you got all brook trout? Yep. Oh, wow. They're beauties, just absolute beauties. Wow, amazing. They're like, uh, six inches long or so they'll eat awesome good job okay justin how many fish did you catch four four and what did you get oh you got a nice one there that's a looks like a cut bow there what did you get some cut bows and some no just cut bows all cut bows yeah. i think they're cut uh, bows because you can tell they have a little bit of orange right there that is uh cut like cutthroat but they look like rainbows so I think they're crosses call them cut bows that looks exactly like a rainbow trout except for that little bit of orange they could be cutthroat but I think they're cut bows all right nice work Justin I'm gonna show you our prize how many did we get Wyatt six we got six we didn't catch any for a long time we caught one that we couldn't catch any more then we hit that one hole and caught all the rest of them show us the big one buddy Ooh, that's a big one. That's a nice one, bud. Great. All right, we're going to eat them up, fry them up, and eat them. Okay, thanks for watching this episode of Montana Haven. Hope you enjoyed our little fishing trip. I just thought I had to throw this in. We all, as a family, uh, last night we went for the first time this year huckleberry picking. And tonight we, we had so much fun, we decided we'd do, do it again. So you can see my family, they're all up there behind me picking is so enjoyable to be out here in the woods and picking huckleberries. I'll show you some of my huckleberries in my bucket. There they are. They're just barely ready. They're probably about another um, three or four days are going to be a lot more ready. But last night we picked about five quarts. And today we got started a little bit later. The sun is just um, about setting behind the trees. And we're up here in this huckleberry country. Let me show, find a bush and show you what these huckleberries look like. But they are absolutely the best thing out here in the West. Such a treat to go huckleberry picking. Even Wyatt and Chloe are helping out, picking their share. Did you get a bunch, Wyatt? Mm -hmm. Let me see them. Oh, look at all Wyatt's huckleberries. Nice. There's a bush that's got quite a few of them on there. Hi there. There they are. And you can see they're, hi Chloe. You can see that they're, some of them are ready and then a lot aren't quite ready. So we're just trying to go through and pick the ones that are, are pretty much ready. And Chloe, how many did you get? Let me see your bucket. Oh, good job, Chloe. 
and Avalon is over there. Ethan, uh, Ethan's over there. So, but it's just such a beautiful evening. It's just perfect in the lodgepole pine. And yep, the sun's just setting. It's beautiful. Here's a bush that's got quite a few ripe ones on there. Look at all those huckleberries. They're absolutely delicious. A little bit smaller than blueberries. these huckleberries just loaded wow. so awesome well this is the third time we came huckleberry picking yep. and we'll listen we're just right off the road actually hey, and they're just the really thing. thick right here oh. and there's uh ethan and justin and priscilla picking back there <laughs> and the three yeah. little ones here we're picking away got to get air all the huckleberries we can what do you want to show me girly Got a big one? She's got a big one. So awesome to hear Chloe sing while we're picking huckleberries. Mm -hmm. They're just really thick here. Got a lot in here. It's awesome. Okay, here's what we got for tonight. We got this one here, I think is about five quarts. Is that right, Ann? <clears throat> I think it's almost um, five quarts. Yeah. And then this one is like four right quarts. Gallon. I think right at a gallon. Didn't save it. Yep. So about uh, this is over two gallons. So that's awesome. Yep. So that's a good, was a good evening. They were really thick tonight. We just picked like crazy. So thanks for watching. So this is what we made with our fresh huckleberries. We put some vanilla ice cream and huckleberries in a blender and it looks amazing. And then we've got huckleberry what kind of pie is that, babe, again? Huckleberry sour cream pie. Huckleberry sour cream pie. Ooh. So we're going to have a late night snack. It's like 10.15, and <laughs> these little guys need to get to bed. <laughs> so we're going to have a quick snack, and then we're going to go to bed. Hey, good morning, guys. Um, I still wanted to add this recipe for you guys. It's a very simple pancake recipe and pretty healthy. It, it takes uh, ground oats. I just ground up the oats in this blender. <clears throat> and it takes only three main ingredients, which is oats and eggs. It actually takes, it asks for all just egg whites, but it takes so many eggs to do just egg whites. So I will put in a few whole eggs in it too. So it's oats, eggs, and cottage cheese. Yes, it makes delicious pancakes. And um, yeah, I just usually use a low-fat cottage cheese. And if you add eggs to the mixture, the, the, the yellow part of the egg, it's a little more calorie dense. But if you're not worrying about weight issues, then I wouldn't worry about it because the yellow part of the egg is also very rich in nutrients. And I'm going to add some of these huckleberries that we just picked last night. We just picked these last night, didn't get home till like 10 o'clock. And <clears throat> the reason it's so huckleberries are so special is because you have to go up on higher elevation to pick them. They're actually, they grow only kind of on higher elevation. And so it's fun. We just take off after dinner, the family, and just go up on the mountain and start picking. 
I'm going to blend in these oats and the ratio of the oats, the cottage cheese, and the eggs are the same. So you add, if you want to do a cup of oats, you make sure that, it, that it's a blended cup of oats because when you blend it, it, it'll go down a little bit. So make sure it's a blended cup, one cup of oats, a blended, I mean, and one cup of eggs and one cup of cottage cheese. You just put those in and then it takes a couple teaspoons of baking powder and, and I will always add some vanilla to it and a little bit of sweetener, just a little bit of it. And I will write this in the description box below so you can do it. It's so easy, you just blend it up together in, in the blender and you've got it. Okay, this is all nicely blended and nice and kind of thick and and now I will just add some huckleberries, just however much I want, and I'll mix it in there. And then we'll fry them. There they are, sizzling away. They're gonna be so good. The huckleberry pancakes are just fantabulous. <laughs> mm. Delicious.